okay so hello and welcome to the discussion on whole numbers now uh, let us say somebody just comes in your class or your teacher comes in your class and asks someone to stand up and say count how many numbers of students are there in the class what would you do you would start counting one two three four and so on so now if you just observe this phenomena closely of counting the phenomena of counting the natural counting it starts from the number one and then we proceed to two three four and so on and this counting can keep on going on so now in mathematics we have a special name for the numbers in which one is the starting number so it's just a group of number in which the first number is one so these numbers they are called or they are termed as natural numbers in mathematics so what would be the definition of natural numbers it would simply be the numbers or the group of numbers simply the numbers or group of numbers numbers starting from 1 starting from 1 are called natural numbers called the natural numbers and now as you can make it out now these natural numbers right they they are called natural because it is very synonymous or it's, it's it matches very likely to the way we count the numbers okay now let us see the properties of the natural numbers a few properties of the natural numbers so for example let's say that i'm writing a few numbers here i'm, I'm starting the natural numbers they're just starting from one two three four five six seven eight and so on this is how I have written now let us take this number three here okay we take this number three and I write a number three over here now what happens when I add a one to this number three plus one it becomes four and what happens when I subtract one from the three number that we have taken here so three minus one becomes 2 so when I add plus 1 I get a number which is greater than 3 and which is which is which is the next number to 3 and when I subtract minus 1 from 3 I get the number just before 3 okay so I can write this set or, or this group of numbers as 2 3 and 4 so 3 is our selected number okay now this two number it comes before and which is obtained by subtracting a one from the number three this number is called as the predecessor predecessor simply means the number which comes before a given number that's it and this number which is coming after three and which we obtain by adding one is called as successor and successor simply means after what comes after so predecessor comes before successor comes after okay so now similarly for each and every number in the group of natural numbers you will have a successor and a predecessor However, if you watch closely, you will find an exception to this rule of each natural number having a predecessor and a successor. And that rule comes in for the number 1. This happens because the successor for the number 1 is 2. But since our numbers start from 1, so there is no number before 1. Hence, in the natural number of system or in the natural number systems we do not have any predecessor 
for the first number which is the number one so so we understood that property so, so we first understood okay what is the successor what is a predecessor and we understood that there is an exception to this predecessor, uh, predecessor successor rule in that the one doesn't have a predecessor now if you see here very closely i am representing this by dots so what do these dots imply this simply implies that these numbers keep on increasing in this direction it's just a concept of saying a huge huge amount of numbers now just think over it would it be possible for us to find the largest possible natural number would it be possible for us let's say i have a huge number which has a huge number of digits for example thousands of digits in a single number would it be possible for us to find a successor for it the answer would be yes because we can simply add plus one we can simply add one to that huge number and we still get a number which is greater than that so this kind of implies that it's that it's just impossible for us to find the largest number in natural numbers so so we understood this was first this property was second and the third one is that we do not have any largest number so no largest natural number exists and the reason for this is simply because we can add plus one to any number and obtain its successor okay so what we have discussed till now we discussed natural numbers why we call them as natural numbers and the main thing about natural numbers is that they start from one and they continue till infinity all the natural numbers have a predecessor and a successor except one which doesn't have a predecessor and it is not possible for us to find a largest natural number the reason being is